Being homeless comes with a stigma and people treat you according to that stigma. And it doesn't matter how you look. I had a 4.2 GPA when I was coming here at one point when I lived in that shelter. And I was taking extra loads of classes, more than seven, and um, they didn't care. One of the unique things about Albuquerque is that we don't have a lot of homeless shelters, yet we are either first or second, um, we alternate between um, being the state with the worst child well-being. My family had experienced homelessness um, all of my elementary school years, and so I went to more than nine different elementary schools, and I moved around to various different states and reservations. Um, and I luckily was able to resettle back in Albuquerque in my middle school and my high school years, and that's when I came to Manzano. So my, I believe it was my sophomore year here um, at Manzano, I started to experience a lot of violence at home and um, it worsened my junior year and then my senior year was completely, um, my junior and senior year was completely homeless. And so when I was here, um, I was homeless and I would stay um, on the streets. I would, I've even slept here a couple times when I was homeless. Um, I slept at middle schools, actually nearby Somacita and, and Kennedy Middle School. And so um, I would actually sleep in the slides and on the benches um, being homeless. And I was really ashamed about being homeless and coming to high school. And so I never told anybody unless I was really close to them. I didn't, I didn't want anyone to think less than me. Um, I felt really ashamed um, that I was going through this and a lot of people didn't normally go through this. But I learned later that my senior year that a lot of a lot of youth that come to this high school, especially my senior year, um, at various ages um, within high school were experiencing homelessness and different forms of um, hardships that made them less privileged than a lot of our other peers here. In the shelter I experienced being drugged by some of my peers in there. Um, I experienced people were stabbed um, people were constantly um, using and as I look back um, I actually contemplate if moving there was a good idea because there was a whole different kind of trauma um, that came with living in an institution um, that was for unsheltered folks and um, I was actually I, I experienced less trauma in the streets in the heights than I did inside the war zone in the in the shelter that I that I lived in So my advice is that there are resources. There are people in the institutions that really do care, or not even in the institutions, but in schools, um, even just your peers in the community. There are people who really care and who are willing to help. I honestly would not have overcome homelessness if I didn't have the connections I did meeting so many people being homeless. Um, so there is, there is hope.